Okay, guys. I'm back. We're in the middle of the send-off. The priest guy, I'll call him, is currently making us collect torches. But yeah. I can't really sound too upbeat about this. This is kind of sad. Wait, are these the torches? Oh, they are. So the dead bunnies or the torches. Okay. That makes three. Not much to say. There's not much to say in this. I mean, I usually try to talk a good bit, but I mean, talking right now is just even this just kind of ruining the mood. There's more in this area again. These were a lot easier to find than uh, the flowers. Everything is prepared for Miss Lerum's send-off. Let us begin. Everyone is waiting to give Miss Lerum a final farewell. I don't see Mac around. He said he had some place to go, and, and then he ran off. Are you worried? Mac has a lot of guts. He'll be fine. Um. I'm your grandfather. You can call me Grandpa. Even though you're younger than Mom? Yeah. I'll stick with Kyle. Saying Grandpa just doesn't feel right. Wow. Look at that, Seth. Kind's actually being nice. Huh. Well, he is a grandfather with his grandchild. Wow. I guess getting grandchildren can really change a guy. I don't think it's quite like that. I think I've got a pretty good guess where Mac went. Where? To get those flowers. I see. See, for us, we figured that as long as those flowers were blooming, Mom would stay healthy. So you protected them? Yeah. Mac and I, we both knew that Mom wasn't well. We wanted to stay together, even if it was just for a little longer. So we would pray to those flowers every day. Cook! <laughs> the flowers? I thought I could show them to Mom. 
but they've already wilted. Those flowers. Wasn't it important to let them keep blooming naturally? Didn't your mother also say that? Well, wilting is something natural too. I thought they would cheer her up. I never let anyone step on them. Oh, you dummy. Did you think this would make Mom happy? But these are Mom's favorite flowers. And they were also there when I parted ways with Miriam's mother, your grandmother. Hmm? The fact that your mother treasured these flowers was probably tied to memories of those times. I'm sure your mother would understand your feelings. And I can understand them too. <laughs> You're a good person, Mac. You're nice too, Kyle. I am. Yep. I thought that about you just now. Is that so? Go show them to Lyra, Mac. Things too well either. Mr. Kime, take hold of the ribbons, please. These ribbons are the only thing that tie us, the living, to Miss Liram, the deceased. Miss Liram must now begin her new journey. Our final duty is to sever our ties with her in the form of these ribbons. Please watch Mac. He shall give us the courage to sever these ties. That is his role. You shall cut your ties with Miss Liram while your undying love for her remains in your hearts. You said that even if we have to cut our ties, we still have our spiritual bonds, right? Yes, those bonds are eternal. Now, let us send Miss Liram off. Many ribbons from Miss Liram have been passed to her father. When all of them have been severed, Miss Liram shall begin her journey out into Mother Ocean. Mac, with the lit torch you carry, trace the movements of the wands the attendees are waving. Those movements will convey the attendees' wishes and parting words to your mother. If you perform a move incorrectly, the attendees' good wishes will not be conveyed. If that happens, try again to match the movements of the attendees. When you correctly trace the movements with your flame, the attendees' torches will light up. Then the attendees will sever the ribbons with their flames to represent their own connections and to make their unseen bonds eternal. When all of the ribbons are severed, Miss Liram will start her journey. Are you ready, Mac? It is time, everyone. Let us sever our physical ties with Miss Liram. Ceremon ceremony we'll be holding is a traditional method of seeing off the dead. Participants will light torches and use them to burn through the ribbons the gondola is attached to. Mac, it will be your job to light all the participants' torches. Liram was a good and kind person to all. Now then, let's begin. 
After expressing their condolences, participants will move their torches forward. Move your torch to the right and bring your flame to the tip of your partner's torch. Wait. Yes, that's how you put them together. This motion serves to represent the rippling ocean. Be sure to adjust the position of your torch. Uh, try touching the tip of your torch to the tip of your partner's torch, then the fire will surely catch. This time you will move your torch to the left. This motion serves to represent the rustling forest. Ah. Next you will raise your torch up. This motion serves to represent the endless sky. Now you move you lower. Now our motion represents the solid earth. The torch has been lit. It is time to say a final goodbye to your mother. Stay strong, alright? You've you've got cook with you. Your job then is move the torch around like this and like the torch of your partner. You will need to pay attention to your partner as each Nimaran will move his or her torch in a different location. Since ancient times, every Nimaran family has its own particular custom for sending off the dead. You must be aware of that. If you are unable to light a torch the first time, you may retry as many times as you like. The important thing is that everyone here fully extends their feelings out to Miss Lerum. We do not have many participants waiting, however, so do try to light them as smoothly as possible. No. My condolences for your loss. If you need anything, just ask. There's no need to be shy. Liram extended her kindness out to everyone. She helped my family and I a great deal too. I may be the last one in my family, but I still want to know her now thankful I am. Lyrum was such a gentle person. I know she was ill, but I never thought it would calm her so f claim her so fast. Hang in there, all right. I always looked up to Lyrum as a woman. I wouldn't mind becoming a mother like her someday. I'll miss her dearly, but I want to show her my smile one more time. Liram was a wonderful woman. I'm sure she had things pretty rough, but she was always so bright and cheerful. Let me see her off with you a smile. Well done. That was some fine lighting. Now it's time to say my goodbyes. I'll sure be lonely without Lyrium around. Is it bad I want to say Lyrium from Dragon Age? It's such a shame that she was so young. Let's make sure your mother has nothing to worry about when we send her off, alright? What a good job you've done with the fire. I'm sure Lyrium will be overjoyed to see how well her kids are turning out. Now for my final words.
thought you would have cried more. Me too. You know, you haven't cried since the funeral began. It's so strange. I don't know why I can't cry. You seem so calm. Kayun. Was your mother happy? She was happy. She had lots of friends. Her dad was a really great person. Even the queen cared about her and helped her out a lot. I'm sure she must have been happy. <laughs> She always missed her time. <laughs> and Grandma. <laughs> you don't cry anymore, do you, Kaim? You're a strong Kaim. I heard from Mom that you are immortal and invincible. It's amazing. <sighs> Dying. It's really great. Not necessarily. Why not? It means I see so many people that I care for pass on, like your mother. You've seen it a lot? Yeah. I have to lose count. That's why you got so strong. But it must hurt. It does. I want to grow up to be strong like you, Kaim. Even if it hurts. Even if it's tough, I won't cry. I'm gonna be strong. Hmm. Right. <gasps> Cook, check it out. I'm back to life. I just knew it. I just knew Mom heard our wish. Do you still believe stuff like that? Don't you think Mom would have done this? It's gotta be because of her the flowers are better. Mom is close, and she hears what we say. It must mean she's with us, Cook. That's impossible. Hey, Kai, can't you get your memory back instantly? I mean, that would save a lot of time. Oh, you are so stupid, Jensen. Are you for real? You don't understand. Come! I care, too. You don't say. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Look at this. Mac went on again, and, and... Here, read it. I'm going to meet Mom in the Crimson Forest. I want to show her these flowers. Crimson Forest? Ah, kids. It's supposed to be a place where you go to meet the souls of the dead. But the Queen has forbidden anyone to go in there. Oh, but he went anyway, huh? That little... Oh. I'm gonna go look for him. Wait, Cook. Wait. It's too dangerous. I'll go with you. We'll go too. We? Are you no. We? Are you saying we? As in me? Yeah. As in me? Yeah, I did. Look at. You know, the queen says don't go in the forest. I think she's very wise. I don't think we should go to the forest. I don't think we should go to the forest. I'm going to stay here and support the queen. Would you quit whining? No. no. Save me, oh my queen! Shut up and get moving. Oh, hey, let's go. I am so not rested. Another hike. Oh boy. All right, guys. Now that I've totally ruined your day, I'm going to let you go. See ya.